Hey everybody, Scout Crafty here again. Today we're going to show you apple cider vinegar and rust, uh, what it does to a rusty part. Here's just a practice part that I have. This is a uh, one of those cap nuts that they use for lighting, uh, around the base of lighting. It's a, uh, a heavy piece of steel. It's been coated with some kind of uh, a coating, but you could see that the rust has gotten to it. And you can see it's pretty heavy in there, especially on the inside. I'm going to take a flashlight and show you just what it looks like on the inside. Uh, you could see that that's pretty extensive down there, the rust. And what we're going to do now, that's pretty heavy, uh, is we're going to immerse it in a can full of uh, apple cider vinegar. Here we have the part immersed in a, uh, a bath of apple cider vinegar. And although I like the smell of apple cider vinegar and it smells good now, uh, in a little while it will get a little bit more rancid of a smell as it starts to work. So we're going to take another can, a slightly larger can, and cover this up and just leave it for a few hours. We'll come back in about 24 hours and see what happens. Okay, we've been it's been about 44 hours. Coming back to check out the uh, test piece that we have. You can see there's some kind of uh, little surface material up there. We're going to pull that out over the slop sink and see. What we we're here at the slop sink. We're going to pull this out for the first time. I don't know what it looks like. Uh, okay. Now, if you notice, a lot of times with when you use a vinegar bath, uh, you'll get this. Sometimes you'll get a grayish uh, appeal or look to the uh, surface. But you can see some of this rust is gone. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a regular scrub brush, some water, and see what we have here as far as coming off. Oh, that just came right off that rust. So, pretty much the area that we had with the rust, give it a little brush here. You could see we've turned it, it's kind of converted into a, a black stain area. And in here, well, that's a little bit more difficult to get. You could see that uh, that still has some rust, but but it uh, came out quite a bit good on the outside here. We're going to hit this with a, a steel wool and uh, see what we can do from there. It's a messy part here, but uh, what we're doing is we took this steel brush. You see these uh, throwaway steel brushes here. We went inside the threads here, and you could see that... Uh, we got a lot of the rust out of there, but some of the rust was damaged the threads. That could be expected. This was sitting in a salty environment for a long time, and uh, it's it's in a bad shape, you know, as far as the threads go. But I'm surprised at how good the outside came out. Now, just by brushing the uh, the brush lightly over the surface, you could see that we've taken off a good amount of the rust. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take. Uh, we basically want the the outside to be in good shape. We don't care really too much about the threads. It's a solid piece of steel, uh, very heavy. And we're gonna take some steel wool now and just go over it and see what we get. Well, we'll be finishing up this project now. Uh, we just want to show you the inside threads here. They're still pretty much mucked up. Uh, I don't know what kind of damage was done to the metal. Again, this was in a bad environment, so. Uh, but the exterior, just with the vinegar, and uh, we hit it with a little uh, wire brush, came out, as you could see, came out really nice. If you are restoring a tool of any type, uh, I say vinegar is a really good alternative to, uh, to electrolysis. Um, what I'm going to do now is to stop the acid from uh, the vinegar uh, in the interior threads. I'm going to take some baking soda, a couple tablespoons and some warm water, fill up that, uh, that cavity and let it sit for a little while and that'll neutralize the acid and then this will be ready to use for a project in the future maybe. Okay, so that's just an experiment of what you can do with uh, regular vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and a little bit of time, and it takes all that rust pretty much off. So I hope that helped in your tool restorations. Okay, take care now. Bye-bye.